goodness, for your goodness and, your mercy. and your mercy. Lord, I say, Lord, thank, I say you. thank you for your goodness, for your goodness and, your mercy. and your mercy. Lord, I say, Lord, thank, I say thank, you. thank you for your goodness, for your goodness and your mercy. And your mercy. Lord, I say Lord, thank you. Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Saints of God, clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. This is the day that you have made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to God. Clap your hands. Celebrate the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for provision. We thank you for preservation. We return glory and honor to you, the eternal one. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you for watching over us, watching over the works of our hands, watching over our family, our loved ones. We return the glory and honor to you in Jesus' name. We come before you this day by the precious blood of Jesus, your son. Hallelujah. That grants us the privilege to be saved and to be called your own. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Saints of God, welcome, welcome morning afternoon evening depending on wherever you are listening to me from glory to god this morning we are looking at the testimony of sound health morning afternoon evening depending on where you are listening to me from we are looking at the testimony of sound health i am trusting the lord that by the end of this short exhortation if you have any form of weakness sickness in your body it comes to an end in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god and for all who are strong and healthy i decree and declare that from this day continue to go from strength to strength from strength to strength in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of god lift up your hand Say, my father, my helper, bless me with good health and strength. Because that is the desire of your father for you. Bless me with good health and strength. I receive it in the name of Jesus. My father, my helper, bless me with good health and strength. I receive it. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Psalm 119 and verse 93. Psalm 119 and verse 93. Glory to God. Look at the word of God and we're going to pray with it. Psalm 119 verse 93. I will never forget your precepts. Referring to the word of God. For by them you have preserved my life. So the word of God has power to preserve life. I am trusting God as you open up to receive God's word this day and meditate on it. May your life be preserved till you accomplish the purpose of God for your year on earth in Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your hand. Say, Lord, by your word, preserve my life in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God, the eternal one, by your word, preserve my life in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, by your word, preserve my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your word, preserve my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, by the entrance of your word, preserve my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Open your hand. Say, Lord, by your word, I declare healing, sound health as my portion in the name of Jesus Christ. You trust in God for healing, begin to declare it. Hallelujah. Declare sound health as your portion. Lord, by your word, I declare healing, sound health as my portion in the name of Jesus. 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 I receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Joshua chapter 14 and verse 11. The NIV version of the Bible. Joshua 14, 11. I am still as strong today as the days Moses sent me out. I am just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Glory to God. May this be your testimony. I received this word. This is Caleb talking about 40 years back. Now when he was saying this, he was at the age of 85. 85. He is testifying that he is as strong as he was 45 years. As he was at 45 years. Friends, that is sound health. From strength to strength. This is a believer in the Old Testament. Hallelujah. That 40 years after, he is still as strong as he was at the age of 45. At the age of 85 now. That is ready to go take that which God has promised him. I decree and I declare from this day, go from strength to strength. Go from strength to strength. Go from strength to strength. Grow old in grace, not in weakness and in sickness. Open your hands. Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, I am going from strength to strength. I am going from strength to strength. As my day, so shall be my strength. As my day, so shall be my strength. I decree and I declare, as my day, so shall be my strength. From the crown of my hair to the sole of my feet. As my day, so shall be my strength. I receive it in the name of Jesus. There's someone listening to me. They are trying to remove you Adaba. They are trying to remove you from that which is supposed to be yours. Hear what the Lord say. They will not succeed. They will live instead for you, instead of you living. This is the word of the Lord for you, brother, sister. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let me hear your testimony to the glory of God. Friends, hear me well. The testimony of sound health is possible. Like Caleb, it is possible to go from strength to strength as you get older. It's possible to live a sickness-free life. An 85 years old man saying that he's as strong as he were when he was 45. 40 years down the lane, he's still growing strong, ready to take his portion. How much more you born in Christ Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank God for the provision of divine healing. But in the beginning, it was not so. Man was not designed to be sick. Man was created by God to enjoy sound health. Life free from sickness and disease. Sickness and disease came as a result of the fall of man. So God had to make a provision for healing through Jesus. Jesus came, paid the price was nailed to the cross, declared that it is finished. He paid the price for your sin, your sickness, and every form of oppression from the wicked. And he that the Son set free is free indeed. He himself took our infirmity. He bore our diseases. He nailed it to the cross and declared it is finished. Friends, listen to me carefully. So, sound health, therefore, is your portion because sound health, divine health, is superior to divine healing. Divine healing is getting well after falling sick. 
But divine health is enjoying sound health free from sickness and disease. Which one do you want? Glory to God. So there is sound health. There is divine healing and there is divine health. But we are focusing on the testimony of sound health, divine health. Because that is God's original plan for you, child of God. Open your hand. Say, Lord Jehovah, keep my loved ones in sound health. Keep my loved ones. Pray for that your mother, that your father, that your brother, your sister, your cousin, your relative, your wife, your husband, that is suffering from one weakness or the other, one infirmity or the other. Speak sound health as their portion. Lord Jehovah, keep my loved ones in sound health. I prophesy, I decree sound health as their portion. I decree sound health as my portion. Sound health in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Psalm 105 and verse 37. Psalm 105 and verse 37. Verse 37. He brought them forth also with silver and gold. See how God brought them out of Egypt. Referring to the church in the wilderness. Glory to God. He brought them forth also with silver and gold. And there was not one, not one of them present. Not one feeble present among their tribe. I read it again. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble among their tribe. Can you imagine? Not one person weak or sick out of the millions of them that came out of Egypt and journeyed through the wilderness, except for those who rebel against the purpose and the plan of God. Psalm 105 verse 37. Glory to God. All of them were healthy and strong. This is the type of the church in the wilderness. And through salvation, we are children of God. So this is God's plan for our life. To be healthy and to be sound. Free from sickness. So it's possible to journey through the wilderness of life. Without being feeble, weak or sick. Amen, somebody. By the grace of God, it is possible. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15. Deuteronomy 7 verse 15. He said, The Lord will keep you free from every disease. Trust God with your health. Trust God with your life. The Lord will keep you free from every disease. He will not inflict on you the word He will not, he will not allow because God does not put anything evil on mankind. He will not allow on you the horrible diseases you knew in Egypt. But he will inflict them. He will allow them on all who hate you. Say, my body is sound. My mind is sound. My soul is sound. Declare it again. Say, in the name of Jesus, my body is sound. My mind is sound. My soul is sound. Glory to God. There is someone listening to me. An offer is coming for, for you. Hallelujah. An offer is coming for, me, for you from a place that you have forgotten about. You applied for this offer many years ago. You've forgotten about it. That offer is coming for you. They have just remembered you, says the Lord, and it's for good. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So listen to me carefully, friends. So there are sickness and diseases not expected to touch you or your children as children of God. You are designed by God to enjoy sound health. But there are steps you must take. There are steps you must take to enjoy the testimony of sound health. Hallelujah. I want you to listen to me very carefully. And when I talk about sound health, I'm not just talking about the body. I'm talking about your spirit, your soul, and your body. There are steps that you must take to enjoy it. Hallelujah. Mentally, you should be sound. Spiritually, you should be sound. Materially, you should be sound. That is the wish of God for you, child of God. That is the wish of God. That is the wish of God for you. Let me quickly explain, please. What is the testimony of sound health? 
what is the testimony of sound health because that's what i'm talking about number one the testimony of sound health refer to the state of being physically mentally and emotionally well physically mentally and emotionally well number two the testimony of sound health is the absence of sickness pain or any serious health condition so i'd like you to align yourself to the focus of the word of god this morning afternoon evening depending on where you are listening to me from and believe god if you are sick for the touch of healing and for all those who are not to go from strength to strength henceforth in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of god open your hand say any area of my health that needs to be perfected lord jesus touch me this day touch me touch me touch me lord don't need to pray I clap your hands open your mouth and pray any area of my health that needs to be perfected lord jesus touch me touch me mention that area of your health of your life there's someone listening to me hear the word of the lord please you can't give god time wait on his time says the lord all things are going to be well with you says the spirit of the lord receive god's word in jesus mighty name glory to god miracles are wonderful friends divine healing is great but please seek for sound health seek for divine health, health free from sickness and diseases. It's God's desire for you and for your children to enjoy sound health, divine health. Look at Todd John chapter 1, verse 2. Todd John 1, verse 2. NIV version. Look at this, verse 2. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health underline that in your bible that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along well that is god's wish and plan for you says the word of god sound health spirit soul and body he said be in health be in health not in and out of health be in sound health, spirit, soul, and body, not in and out. So that is the plan of God for your life. I pray for that person with a pain in their left shoulder. Left shoulder, you just need healed. Move your shoulder now. In the name of Jesus, slap it three times, your shoulders. Receive your healing. Severe headache has just been healed in Jesus' name. You are into construction of houses. Speed is coming on the work of your hand. Speed is coming on the works of your hand in jesus mighty name glory to god we've been able to establish that sound health divine health is god's wish and plan for his children god desire you to be sound spiritually physically mentally and otherwise he said beloved that you may be in health not in and out of health what are the steps to enjoy the testimony of sound health as believers as believers what are the steps to enjoy the testimony of sound health divine health as believers number one take note please write these points down number one meditating on the word of god not just hearing the word but meditating on it like after hearing the word this day take the word to heart meditate on it speak it over your life speak it over your health the bible says, let the weak say that i am strong proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 to 22 proverbs 4 verse 20 to 22 verse 20 my son pay attention to what i say as you are listening to the word of god now 
pay attention to it. Turn your ears to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. What does that mean? Meditate on them. Not the news you hear from CNN, Sky News, or your local television stations that put fear in you. But listen to my word. Meditate on them. Verse 22. For they are life to those who find them. When you find the word of God, remember, Jesus said, the word I speak to you, they are spirit and life. There is life in the word of God. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. They are health to all your flesh, from the crown of your hair to the sole of your feet. So there is life and power in the word of God. Friends, if you are sick, locate healing scriptures. Scriptures on sound health. Meditate on them. Meditate on them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God for medical science. Thank God for the medications you are taking. Wonderful. You should. Because God gave the doctors the wisdom to do that. But as much as you are taking those medications, meditate on the word of God because there are people that even medications do not respond to. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever is designed to terminate your life, I terminate it now. I terminate it now. I terminate it now. I terminate it now. By the power in the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Be sound in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Be sound in Jesus' name. Number two step to take to enjoy the testimony of divine health. Think and desire sound health. Think it. Desire divine health. A sound mind is a sound life. Sickness and disease is not God's wish. It's not your portion. But divine health, sound health, most times, begins from the mind. You need to think it because as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Think it. Desire it. Don't say, I don't believe in this thing. You don't believe it, you can see it. You can never assess what you do not have faith in for. If you don't believe that divine health, sound health is your portion, don't expect it. Amen. That is why I say step to, steps to enjoy the testimony of sound health. As believers, you need to believe that what God says God can and has done it. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Proverbs 4, 23. Glory to God. He said, above all else, guard your heart from everything. Protect your heart. Censors what your ears hear because it will come to the heart. Censors what your eyes see because it will come to the heart. Censors who is speaking to you because it will come to the heart. There are numbers you have to block, not because they are evil, but because every time they speak, they put you in a place of doubt and unbelief. Glory to God. Above all else, Proverbs 4, 23, guide your heart for everything you do flows from it. As you think, so you are. So think sound health. Desire sound health. Think divine health. Desire it. Life free from sickness and disease. Think growing old, working for God and doing God's will and purpose. Number three, steps to take to enjoy the testimony of divine health. Take care of your body. Take care of your body. We can never overemphasize on this point. Stay healthy. Eat healthy. Exercise. Do your part. God can do for you like I've said often what he is giving you grace to do for yourself. Amen. Just as God cannot eat for you, God can wear clothes for you. There are things you have to do for yourself. Look at this. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. 1 Corinthians 3 16 verse 16. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst? So respect your body. Your body is the carrier of the spirit of God. If you don't take care of your body, anything happens to your body, you are gone. 
You need your body to execute God's purpose for your life here on earth. Your body carries the spirit, so treat it with respect. Eat right. Walk right. Live right. This is where the sons and daughters of the world has more wisdom than us in the church. It's not everything you pray about. It's not everything you speak in tongue about. There are things that are practical that you must do. Take care of your body. 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 8. 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 8. Verse 8. Underline this verse in your Bible. It's a physical training. Physical training, referring to exercise. Physical training is good. But training for godliness is much better. Promising benefit in this life and in the life to come. What is the word of God saying? It's a physical exercise is profitable. But it will profit you only here on earth. Your body is only useful here on earth. So if you want to live long here on earth, free from sickness and disease, exercise is a must. He said, but godliness, taking care of your spirit, exercising your spiritual life, listening to the word, eating the word of God, praying, doing what you need to do, advancing God's kingdom, it will profit you in this life and in the life after this. That is why it is wonderful to serve God. That is why it is profitable to serve God and be, the cause of his kingdom. That is why it is great to advance the cause of God here on earth because the blessing will not only come to you here on earth, it will also come to you in, the, in, in eternity after this earth. The benefits are too much. So number three step, take care of your body. It's important you do so. Number four, live in forgiveness and stay away from worrying. Live in forgiveness. There are things that open doors to sickness and disease because they open door to depression and when you open door to depression is an invitation to oppression if you don't want oppression stay far away from depression that is why i like to take myself out to pray in the open i make it a habit i've made it a habit walk by the sea to pray i i, I clear off my mind at the same time as i do so amen somebody i try to avoid certain kind of people around me Live in forgiveness. Unforgiveness invites sickness and diseases to our bodies. Live in forgiveness and stay away from worry. Please be free from bitterness and envy. Bitterness and envy and unforgiveness has killed a lot of people. If you truly desire to enjoy sound health, many under the influence of my voice, hearing me right now, morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are hearing me from. The reason why you have not been healed from that infirmity as a child of God is because you are harboring bitterness, unforgiveness, envy. You are worrying too much. Free yourself from it. Do you have an idea the number of people that die from stress? From stress. You need to free yourself. In the course of trying to impress people, validate yourself before people, keeping a public image and privately damaging yourself, free yourself from it. Friends, I did it years ago and I tell you, I'm living a free life. Free yourself from it. Glory to God. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, in how many situations? In every, concerning your business, concerning your relationship, concerning your marriage, concerning your children, concerning your finances. But in every situation, by prayers and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and wait for answers. I believe God answers prayers in three ways. Just like the traffic light. Is either telling you to wait or telling you to go or telling you not to go at all. So some of us, we are in the state of wait. God say, wait, wait. And they that wait upon the Lord, then we mount up as wink as eagle. If you want to enjoy peace in this world, follow the pace of God. I'm telling you, don't be faster than God. Follow the pace of God. I know what God has called me to do. Amen. 
when I see some people travel overseas and they are welcome with red carpet, I praise God for them. I celebrate the faithfulness of God over their life. That is their ministry. That is their calling. But what God has called me to do, I am welcome with orphans and children crying in villages or widows or mother or the crowd waiting to receive the word of God in villages. I appreciate God for that. I am grateful to God for that. Free yourself from competition. What God is calling you to do is different from what God has called another one to do. Like I said before, life is not a competition. The only person you should compete with is yourself. The glory of the moon is different from the glory of the sun. The glory of the sun is different from the glory of the star. But they are all shining. Shine your shine and let me shine my shine. Glory to Jesus. Friends, stress can kill. Free yourself. Proverbs 17 verse 22. Proverbs 17, 22. I'm reading the Good News Bible. Proverbs 17, 22. It says, being cheerful keeps you healthy. It slows death to be gloomy at all times. Glory to God. So a cheerful heart doeth good like medicine. But when you are gloomy, it's calling death slowly upon yourself. So make a choice. To be cheerful, that doeth good like medicine, or... To be gloomy, depressed, and quietly, you are calling death to yourself. Free yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Friends, lift your hand. Say, whatever will not allow me enjoy sound health, be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Whatever will not allow me enjoy sound health, be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Whatever will not allow me enjoy sound health, be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Whatever will not allow me enjoy sound health, be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Glory to God. And finally, number five steps to take to enjoy the testimony of divine health as a child of God is to live for God and keep declaring life. Let me say it again. Number five step is to live for God and keep declaring sound health or sound life. Hallelujah. Live for God. Why do you want God to keep you on earth? We are talking to believers. We are Christians. We are referring to ourselves as children of God. Why do you want God to spare your life? Why do you want God to give you the privilege to enjoy sound health continuously? Because it's a privilege from God. Anything from God is a privilege. It's not a right. Glory to God. Live your life for God. Live your life to advance the cause of God. Live your life to touch lives. That when you live this life, what will you be remembered for? Stop playing religion. Stop playing church. Christianity is a walk with God. It's a relationship with God. It's no religion. Live your life for God. Be profitable to the cause of God. Be profitable to the advancement of the kingdom of God. Be a soul winner. Glory to God. And keep speaking life. Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Wake up every day as you take your medicine, if you are taking any form of medication, speak life over your body. In the name of Jesus, it is well with me. If you're taking medication, decree and declare that this medication, my body shall respond to it. In the name of Jesus. Declare the word of the Lord, I shall live and not die and fulfill the purpose of God here on earth. Glory to Jesus. Lift up your hand. Say, sound health, divine health is my portion. I speak wellness over my body in the name of Jesus. Spirit, soul, and mind. Sound health, divine health is my portion. I speak wellness over my body, over my spirit, over my soul. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Maka baga zakata labara. Le supele gete niwa. Mango dolia. Baga deli vila agradia. In Jesus mighty name. Now lay hands on your body please. 
say every deposit in my body that is not of God, I command you now out in the name of Jesus. Now, if you know that thing by name, begin to declare it out of your body. Every pain, weakness in my body, in my blood, in my vein, in my cells, I command now out in the name of Jesus. 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 The testimony of sound health, the testimony of divine health is my portion. Is my portion. Is my portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Say any deposit in my body contending with my well-being, you are a liar. I command you now out. Die out of my body. Dry up out of my body. Whatever is contending with my well-being, I decree and I declare, out in the name of Jesus. Sekoli binaba. Makra kataba. Iko delibina. Ashoko balahadia. Grace to take care of my body and stay healthy. I receive it. Say after me. Say grace to take care of my body and stay healthy. I receive it. Grace to take care of my body and stay healthy. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive the grace. Uh, to take care of my body, to do what I need to do, to take care of my body and stay healthy. I receive it. 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 I, receive it. I, receive it. I pray for that person whose right foot, your right foot is locked. I pray for you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that sickness out in Jesus' mighty name. You with a strange stomach pain, I release the healing power of God upon you right now. Be healed and be made whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. If you have any sickness in any part of your body, lay your hands there. You've heard the word of God. Desire sound health. Desire divine health. It is God's wish and plan for your life. I decree and I declare the touch of God upon you right now through your hands. I cause that sickness and disease out of your blood, out of your vein, out of your bones, out of your cells, in Jesus' mighty name. Stand up, exercise yourself and do what you couldn't do before. You can, that can't sleep, you're suffering from insomnia, I decree the healing power of God upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says he gave his beloved sound sleep. Receive sound sleep in Jesus' mighty name. You that your child wakes up at a particular time in the night and just cry. I rebuke that oppression of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Every strange image in your house, I rebuke. Live in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, I need you to do so right now. No Jesus, no life. Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You need Jesus. Glory to God. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life as my Lord and my pastor. Say, I surrender my life to you. Forgive me my sins. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Pray this short prayer. Congratulations. You are saved and washed by the blood of Jesus. May your name be blotted from the book of death and to the book of life. Congratulations. In Jesus' mighty name. Friends, Go from strength to strength. Continue to enjoy sound health the rest of your life. And if, you've taken, if you are taking any form of medication, may your body from today begin to respond to that medication. I decree speedful recovery in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Sound health, divine health is your portion. I wait for your testimony. God bless you. God keep you. Don't forget, join me in preaching, sharing the word of God. God bless you in Jesus' name.